If you've been struggling to be consistent with studying your Bible and you even made it your new year resolution, but months have gone and you have fallen off yet again. If this sounds like you, then this is the only video on consistency that you would ever need to watch. So I literally used to be in your shoes for years. Every year, one of my new year resolutions was to study the Bible, to be consistent, to finish the Bible. But I just could not seem to keep those promises to myself. And I kept on breaking that promise to myself over and over and over again. Until 2019, when God gave me the biggest hack. And in 2020, I read the Bible cover to cover for the first time ever in my life. And this is exactly what I did and what you can also do to make that your reality. Number one, start from the New Testament and end with the Old. The Old Testament represents types and shadows of Jesus to come. If you are to look at a shadow, for example, you're not going to be able to completely make out the form of who that is specifically. And that is simply because it's not clear. The Old Testament is basically types and shadows. The New Testament is the revelation, the clarity. It explains the Old Testament. So if you were to start reading the Old Testament and you don't have a good grasp on Bible in interpretation you're going to struggle with being consistent because when you start to see weird words that you don't understand or things that you're saying that they said God did and you don't really understand whether that's God or not you're going to have so many questions and you're going to end up getting discouraged and it will start to seem difficult and you will just give up but the New Testament is as clear as it comes when you're done reading it you'll be able to now read the Old Testament in light of the New Testament. So with the understanding of the New Testament that you now have, you will then be able to read the Old Testament in context. Secondly, do not read passively. Just listening to an audio Bible or just randomly opening a book of the Bible to just read it like a story, that can actually make you struggle with consistency. Be an active reader of the Bible. That simply means when you read take notes have a book that is just dedicated to bible study and when you read your chapter for the day for example you just take notes of what you learned you can use the soap method that's scripture observation application and prayer so basically that method would help you write down the scripture you read what you observe from reading that scripture how you can apply it to your life so that then personalizes it and makes it more relatable and then finally p for prayer prayer where you just write down your prayers using that scripture so if you use like for example the soap method and you've done chapter one chapter two chapter three chapter four and you're seeing like the progression of you writing down everything you've learned you wouldn't want to break that streak and that can heavily impact how consistent you will be thirdly read the bible in chapters not in verses a lot of scriptures can be easily taken out of context if you just read a verse but if you read a whole chapter you'll be able to understand the entire scenario don't overwhelm yourself just read a chapter a day one chapter one day it takes roughly five minutes by the time you take your notes down another maybe five minutes and in 10 minutes you are done literally just 10 minutes of your time each day will help you move the needle forward in you consistently reading your bible this year if you start today to read a chapter a day in exactly three years time you would have read your entire bible cover to cover Number four, pick a time and stick to it. If you're a morning person, pick a time in the morning when you will do it. You can tell yourself, immediately I wake up, I pick my Bible, I study a chapter a day. If you're a nice person, before I go to bed or when I get back from work, I will study at least a chapter a day. Regardless of what category you fall under, whether you're a morning person or a night person, stick to that time because we are habitual beings we are creatures of habits so when you do something over and over and over and over again the day you don't do it you will feel weird so that is the advantage of picking a time and sticking to it number five extend grace to yourself one of the biggest killers of consistency is self-condemnation what i mean by that is let's say you read the bible today you read it yesterday then tomorrow comes and unfortunately you're not able to read because of 
life happened and you didn't plan properly or you procrastinated a lot of people will feel disappointed with themselves oh i was not able to read it today i said i was going to be consistent and i didn't keep my promise to myself no that is the trick of the enemy do not let him deceive you if you miss a day the next day continue from where you stopped don't let the devil use self-condemnation to deceive you or to keep you from being your best and your most consistent self. We lose when we stay down. But when you tell yourself, do you know what? Yes, I didn't read for the past two days, but I'm going to read today and I'm going to read tomorrow. That is how you are going to be your most consistent self. Consistency doesn't mean that there aren't some days where you might not fall off. Consistency simply means that regardless of days where you fall off, you wake up the next day and you continue from where you stopped. You don't stay down. Accountability is quite literally one of my biggest secret to consistency remember when i said that god had given me a massive hack that made it possible for me to read my bible cover to cover in 2020 well that hack was actually for me to come on youtube and to summarize a book of the bible at least once every week for the entire 2020 and i would say that that was such a smart tactic because the fear of embarrassment <laughs> <laughs> it literally humbled me and it prevented me from not showing up people were watching the videos my parents knew about it i had told everyone on that challenge that i was going to finish the bible and that they could go on this journey with me and if i were to not show up they would see me not show up and that in itself would be very embarrassing and so no matter how hard it got i stuck through it because i was afraid of the shame i would feel if i did not stick with it that's not the only time that i accountability helped me to be consistent with studying my bible even after the finish the bible challenge in 2020 i still went on to make bible reading a habit and how i did that especially when i got married was to start reading the bible with my husband so because we were reading it together on days where maybe i don't feel like it he would be like oh let's read the bible on days where he doesn't feel like it i'll be like oh babe let's read the bible and that accountability structure has kept me so consistent with bible reading that since that challenge in 2020 i have consistently read at least a chapter of the bible regularly for the past couple of years till date how does this apply to you there is always some sort of accountability structure that you can put in place to hold yourself to your promises for example the church that i attend my pastor holds like a morning bible study session every day from monday to friday if i'm not mistaken and so every monday to friday my sister joins that bible study session and they deal with at least a chapter a day that was her way of keeping herself accountable and finding a structure to enable her to be consistent for some of you you might not have a church that does regular bible studies you might not you know go on youtube and tell everybody that you want to finish the bible in a year you might not have a spouse that you can read the bible with but you have friends there is someone that you can reach out to and say let's study the bible every day you can even put money on the table you can tell your friend see if i don't read my bible at least five times a week this week i'm going to send 50 dollars to you so when you think of the fear of losing that money you will read that bible my point is you can get creative if it's something you really want there are so many things you can do to keep yourself accountable my ministry also hosts this challenge called the reset fast group challenge and this challenge basically everyone is required at some point to send in scriptures on a daily basis of what they learned from studying their bible that day of course there's a paid challenge however people have joined this challenge in the past and this helped them greatly with self-discipline so my point is there are many things you can do and if you do not have anyone that you can reach out to to help you then you be your accountability structure and by that i mean go on your instagram page on your stories or on your youtube channel and announce I'm going to finish the Bible this year or I'm going to read at least a chapter of the Bible every day and I'm going to share what I learned with you so that way because you've announced it that fear of embarrassment will stop you from not keeping that promise to yourself and will literally encourage you to show up even on difficult days and that is how you're going to be your most consistent self this year and beyond if you're yet to subscribe kindly subscribe and if you found this video valuable give it a thumbs up like this video and you can also check out this video right here see you there